why Tinumbu can't probe Buhari's government, says Primate Elijah Ayodili. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. The leader of Inri Evangelical Spiritual Church, Primate Elijah Ayodili, has suggested why President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu can't probe his predecessor, Muhammad Buhari. Primate Ayodili said Tinumbu can't probe Buhari's administration because it will run down his government. His remark is coming when reports claim that Buhari urged Tinumbu not to probe his former appointees. But Buhari's former spokesman, Gabra Shehu, denied such reports, stressing that the former president never made such an appeal. However, Ayodele, in what he termed warning to the nations on Saturday in Lagos, said this government will do better than Buhari's administration, but what they need to do about the previous government, they won't be able to do it because if they do, it will run down their government. This government will not be able to probe Buhari's government. Ayodele also urged Tinumbu to ensure press freedom and freedom of speech while in the office. He said, I'm not against Tinumbu's government. I love it, but at the time when you talk, they start pursuing you. They won't allow freedom of speech when the time comes. And we advise this government to allow press freedom and freedom of speech. He concluded. So let's take some comments. Someone... Um, the first commenter here said, It's now clear that INRI is a branch of APC's illegal government. Another person said, um, Tinumbu supposed to appoint this man, Ayodele Elijah, a special advisor on religious matter. The guy is very faithful. Another said, Where's Tinumbu said he will continue from where Buhari has stopped? What else do we expect? Enjoy it. AP, another said, APC means Association of Past Criminals Party. So these are just a few comments that came in as Primate Elijah Yodele has shared his thoughts on why he thinks or believes that the present administration of Bola Ahmed Sinumbu cannot probe Wari's government because it's going to run down its own government. Now, they, we know that a lot of probing has been going on. For example, the very first action the president's Tinubu took was suspending the governor of the CBN, embattled governor Godwin Emifili. And since then, he's been there, though it's said that he's been singing like a bird, saying that, you know, and he got people implicated, uh, like traditional rulers, some judges and politicians, that of course he didn't take the step by himself of doing, doing the cash swap or cashless um, swap policy, Naira redesign policy, and all of that. And since then, like a renowned son um, said, uh, Baba Femi Falano, that the best thing is for him to be able to face the court of law and not just, um, you know, keeping him in detention of the DSS and all of that, which will be tantamount to contrary to the fundamental human rights of which he has. Um, but of course, we cannot forget the reign, a long reign of Emifili in Ori. His term, you know, met us when we were changing Naira for less than 200 Naira. And he left when Naira was way into 750-something Naira. You know, and Nigerians cannot use their bank cards to even make payments to online platforms abroad. Um, and all those double charging of exchange rates internally and externally and all of that. So many allegations were tied to to him as well. Terrorism financing, round tripping, abuse of office and all of that. So even apart from that, you know, um, we also had the boss chairman of the EFCC, Abdul Rashid Bawa, who was also picked up hours after the CBN governor was picked up for alleged abuse of office. And um, Bauer has decided not to cooperate. He said he's not been singing like a bird like his counterpart, Godwin Mifili. And that also Godwin mentioned him in his statement. Um, but right now, it is said that Bauer has been taken away from the DSS custody to a private location. Before it was said to an unruly location, now it's said to be a private location. A lot of Nigerians are arguing to say, when it comes to things like that, why is Godwin Mifili not taken to a private location? Why is it... Um, 
um, the other guy, that's Bauer, that it doesn't mean the Fulanis are still untouchable and things like that. So, the current president, President Bola Metunumbo, has a lot of work to do. And if, according to what Prophet said, we don't even know if Prophet is saying the vision he has seen about Tinumbu not trying to probe Buhari's government, or maybe he's just insinuating or anything. He, he shares his opinion very often on social media. So sometimes it's quite confusing for what angle is being um, trying to bring into limelight. But hey, of course he has his right to his own opinion. So do you think Primate Ayodele Elijah is correct, you know, by saying that President Tinumbu cannot um, possibly will not probe his predecessor, ex-president Muhammad Buhari's regime. Would like to share your comments. Please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Do remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. To our new subscribers, thank you for joining. And to our existing subscribers, thank you for always stopping by. We'll see you in the next video. Have a lovely day and bye for now.